Welcome once again, dear friends, to another edition of Fresh Bread. It is Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. We're so glad to have you with us this morning. Hey, guess what? Today marks the one-year anniversary for Fresh Bread. How about that? I just thought of that. I remember we started it once the coronavirus just had kind of kicked in. We weren't sure where things were going. We went to the Fresh Bread broadcast. We didn't really call them that back then. We gave it that name in, I believe, August of 2020, but we actually started on Monday, March 23rd, 2020. How about that? So one year ago, so a very special one anniversary broadcast today, if you will, of Fresh Bread. I would say we've done Fresh Breads every Monday through Saturdays, with the exception of about three weeks, maybe. So, I mean, that's goodness, that's got to be over 300 broadcasts now, I would think. I haven't sat down and counted them, but I have enjoyed doing them. Again, I hope that you listen. I know some people listen every day. I really appreciate it. I really hope you share these with people. I think that they are way beyond just people. They're, they're relevant just uh, to people beyond our churches, Kansas Avenue and Oakland United Methodist Church here in Topeka. I think it's way beyond that and that these are things hopefully that we can just sort of encourage each other by. All I'm doing is sharing with you what God's put on my heart for that particular moment. Nothing is scripted. Occasionally we'll, we'll delve into the scriptures and we'll, we'll pray a little bit, you know, and, and, and we typically do try to do scripture passages, but not always. It's whatever the Lord is, is feel, I feel like is leading me to do at that time. So uh, I do appreciate, uh, first of all, as I look back at this last year, I, I want to say this. This would not be possible without the dedicated service of Tom Lynn. Now, Tom never asked for credit, but you know what? Everybody at Kansas Avenue United Methodist Church knows what Tom Lynn does. He never asked for credit. He never seeks attention. That, to me, is the mark of a true servant. Never puts himself up there as a person of importance, and he is very important. We know Tom is very important. So without Tom, so many things wouldn't even get done. We are still trying to find backups for Tom. I'm, I'm going to be in the process of learning some of these things because I just think they need to be learned. And, but Tom, we love you. We thank you for taking these. I record these on my iPhone. I then put them on the cloud. I then put them on an email. I then email them to Tom. Tom takes them from the email and he puts them on this YouTube channel, basically, which is, again, the kaumc.church website. That's my understanding. I may not have gotten that quite right, Tom, but, but that's basically it. I record it. I put it on the cloud. I email it. Tom takes it. And he gets it on the website. And that's really the, the basics of what happens. This has been going on now for a year, six days a week. You know, when we first started the Fresh Bread broadcast, it's funny. I'm Again, I'm just kind of reminiscing here today. I hope you don't mind. Some of those went like 30, 40 minutes. Can you imagine me doing a 40-minute broadcast every day? I mean, I, I, I enjoyed it, but we didn't know where we were going back then. Then I pretty well shortened it to 10 minutes. I thought about shortening it down to five minutes, but that's maybe a little too tight it's, because it is unscripted. And I don't really have much trouble filling up 10 minutes, so... Anyway, what can I say? It's uh, it's been a blessing to do these. I sometimes will go back and listen to them when I'm out taking a walk, and I'm like, I don't remember saying that, or I'll say something. What am I? What's he going to say next? <laughs> I forgot what I said. It was like three or four weeks ago, and I've probably done you know 25 in in between. So again, this is just what the Holy Spirit's giving me on that day, and I'm just sharing with you from my heart. And you know, you've heard a lot of different things, you know, and um, I, I hope through the final analysis, this is not about me, but it's about what God is doing in our midst. And that if I can help maybe present, maybe just a glimpse of what Christ is doing in my life, maybe it's going to filter over into yours as well. You know, wouldn't that be great? I, I just feel like God's got so much for us. And I appreciate your support. I, I know people come up to me and say, hey, I listen to those all the time, or I, I have it with my coffee in the morning, or I, I listen to it different times, you know, whenever it's available. That really means a lot. I, 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 again, I ask that the people in the churches will, will at least consider listening to these and then share them with a friend. And maybe that friend will share them with another friend. You know, I've got 
comments from people really around the world who have heard this. Now, some are connected to either me through family ties or maybe through the church or maybe through somebody else in the church. But I think it's a, it's a resource that, that God has given us. My son wants to help me start learning how to do podcasts. I feel like these are kind of like podcasts, but if we could do a podcast, it'll open up some new technology for us. So that's, I guess, on the horizon. You know, we, we've already talked. We're not going to go into great detail, but we're doing our Facebook Live uh, as we started those in November. And what a blessing that's been to be able to do services live, really, for the last three months. And, and now we're continuing. We Once we got that off the ground, it was obvious we were going to keep doing those as best we could, even when we got back together again. So those Facebook Live, God willing, those services are still going on. And... Now we're just trying to build each other up, get our feet under us, and move forward. And I believe God's got great and mighty plans for the churches and really for each one of us. So that's kind of what we're talking about this week is just sort of making those decisions to change, making these decisions to get us now into that new arena that God wants us to go into. We want to put the past behind and move into the new area. I don't know how that's going to take shape. I really don't. Are we going to have classes? Are we going to do things on Zoom? Are we going to... I don't know. I mean, there's just a lot of question marks on how we're going to do it. But I really feel like God has given me a vision for the churches. And my vision may not be your vision. And I understand that. I respect that. A lot of people want to hold on to things that, the way they were. Okay? That's human nature. A lot of us are resistant to change or, or we're afraid, we're fearful that, you know, we can't do it. I understand that. I mean, you know, it, it's just human nature. Like I said, we're, we're, we're prone to, to that. Peter got out of the boat and started walking on the water till he looked down. And then all of a sudden he got scared and he started sinking, right? So I believe that fear is a huge obstacle in our lives. We're talking about decisions yesterday. We're going to talk about them again this week, probably almost throughout the whole week. But we have to decide, I believe, not to be fearful. And one of the best ways of doing that, friends, is to start learning scripture passages. The Lord did not give us the spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. One of my favorite scripture passages. didn't give us a spirit of fear. So where did the spirit of fear come from? If it didn't come from God, it had to come from the devil. It had to come from the enemy, the evil one, Satan. <laughs> As one or the other, God did not give us a spirit of fear. We know that. He, he constantly told the children of Israel to believe and to go forward. Remember when they were looking at going into the promised land and they sent the 12 spies in and they all said what a wonderful place it was. God had already told me he was going to give them that land, going to give them Canaan land. And they come back and all oh, with these glowing reports and then, okay, when are we going to go in and get it? And to them say, oh, we can't go in there. There's giants in there. They wipe us out. And then two of them, Joshua and Caleb said, we can do it. God is with us. We can do it. So today, are you like one of the 10 spies? Or are you like Joshua and Caleb, who are going to take God at his word? And you do that through a conscious choice. We have to believe. We have to make a decision to believe. It's our choice. So join me again tomorrow. We're going to keep talking about the decisions we make, the choices we make. They kind of go hand in hand, don't they? And I just want to encourage you to take God at his word, to have faith in him, to trust in him. We know he's a good God. He's gotten us through this last year. In spite of the difficulties, he's got great plans for us. If we're still here, he's got a plan for us. He's got a ministry for each of us. He's got a calling on your life and on mine. So now let's just walk with Christ into that calling. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me. Hope to see you back on Wednesday for more fresh bread. Until then, may God richly bless you is my prayer. Do have a great day.